Hello everyone, Foley here, and back at you with a brand new series, The Extreme One Chunk Iron Man. I've been contemplating on making this series for a while now. Something during the Cox grind pushed me over the edge to do it, so here I am. Like I said, I'm going to be doing the Extreme One Chunk rules, um, just like you would see with Limp Wirt except for I'm not going to be doing raking content, and I'm going to be setting my secondary training method to a 1 in 16 drop. So, for example, if I had a chunk, let's say, that gave me a skilling requirement to get level 80 smithing, but I had no way to get smithing XP besides from drops from monsters, then the only way that training method would be viable is if the drop from the monster that gave me smithing XP would be at a 1 in 16 drop rate or lower. But other than that, I am keeping all the extreme rules. And you may be wondering, what is my starting chunk? And that is a great question because I do not know my starting chunk. We're actually going to roll for the starting chunk. The only restriction I have on a starting chunk is something that is going to make me do multiple quests in order to get over there. For example, like Port Phasmatis, that's going to make me do like three separate quests plus some skilling requirements to get there. So something like Port Phasmatis is completely out of the picture. But enough talking about that for now because that's only if I roll a chunk that has something like that. So we'll run across that bridge once we get there. But if you are a returning viewer to the channel, then uh, I hope you guys enjoy this brand new series. And if you're new to this channel, then uh, I do have another series called Spooned or Doomed. If you want to check that out, it's just some main man mode content. So so um, it's where I camp a boss until I get one of the rarest items from there. And I'm going to be running both of these series in conjunction with each other. I'm probably going to be focusing on Spooned or Doomed a little bit more because uh, with Chunk Men, sometimes it can take a very long time to get a chunk done. So it might take loads of time just to get one episode out. But anyways, if you guys like the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it if you did. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to the chunk rolling. Okay, actually, before we get started with the chunk roll, you might be wondering, what all do I have to do in a chunk to complete it? So first of all, let's talk about skilling. So anything skilling based in my chunk, I have to have the level required to do it and do it at least once. Given that I can train the method by either getting items from shops uh, naturally or for the 1 in 16 secondary training method that I've set my account to. I have to complete every diary um, that I can, but I don't think diaries are really going to come up too much, especially in the beginning, but maybe when we get later on, then diary tasks will start showing up more. And for non-skilling stuff, I have to get the best in slot items for uh, combat. If I encounter a mini game, I have to complete it. Same with bosses, raids. I also have to receive all the jars. Uh, if I encounter a boss that has a jar in the drop table. And as a extreme one chunk, if I roll a chunk that has the location where you would buy a skill cape, I would have to get that skill to 99 if I can train it of course. But that is like the main things that I need to do in order to complete a chunk. There are a couple other things that like don't really come up often and if they do I will clarify it but that is pretty much the basis of how I am going to be able to complete a chunk. Let's go ahead and roll our brand new chunk, our starting chunk, the chunk that will determine my future. So let's just go ahead and get this random start off. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Ah. The Hunter Guild. Very interesting. Okay, so we're not going to be able to do much in the Hunter Guild, I don't think. Okay, yeah, we're not going to be able to access the Hunter Guild because we need 46 Hunter. So, yeah, there's not going to be much to do in the starting chunk, but it's Varlamore, so there's a... Some interesting things over there that we can do for sure. So I believe I just need one quest to get the Varlamore and we can get on over there. All right. So the quest we got to do to get to Varlamore is Children of the Sun. Luckily, it's a really fast quest and it requires no stats at all. So we're going to be going into Varlamore pretty, pretty fresh. So that is, that is nice to see. Now we are starting off as a 
hardcore Iron Man, but I do not expect to live. You know, a new continent and uh, new content actually coming out very soon. It is uh, August 5th as I am playing right now. So I'm I'm thinking within the next month they're going to be dropping Varlamore Part 2. Let's go ahead and get this quest done. There we are, Children of the Sun complete. So let's go ahead and get to our chunk and off to Valamore we go on the Quetzal. I'm actually kind of excited to be in Varlamore because I really haven't spent a lot of time here. I've been uh, really busy with Spooned or Doomed. I'm currently uh, currently in the middle of a cox grind. But here we are in our chunk. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and see what the tasks are. All right, it looks like all we can do is obtain an unarmed. <laughs> I, I believe we have obtained an unarmed. <laughs> And we need to obtain an iron knife. Now, there is a needle here, which uh, could be useful for crafting. We got a bucket of water. We do have a bank, thankfully. But there we go. We got our iron knife, and we wield it. And we have now completed this chunk. What a fast and easy chunk. Only guild members... Oh, <laughs> only guild members can use the bank. Oh, man, I am a, I am a fish out of water here. Um... <laughs> So I, I'm I'm playing as an ultimate uh, Iron Man until I can uh, either get the Hunter level for here or find another bank, which I think the nearest bank for me is, uh, it's only a couple chunks away actually. So if I roll lucky, I can get there in two. So that's, uh, that's not bad at all. But otherwise, we are going to be playing as an ultimate iron man so that's gonna be just amazing but back to the chunk picker and we can go ahead and pick our next chunk what do you say all right the hunter guild of backyard looks like we're going a little bit to the west and um we need to bake a loaf of bread and obtain a blue wizard hat. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, here we are at the new chunk. Looks like we got an oak tree over here. Let's see, what else do we got here? We got a cave. Can we enter this cave? Or does this go to the hunter's guild? I would assume this goes to the hunter's guild, right? Oh, we can enter the cave. Okay, well, it, it, did, not, it did not let me go in the cave. All right. Oh. Oh, the snake. Oh my god, there's a snake. Okay, remember there's snakes over there. All right, so we got snakes, a hunter creature, some oak trees, and we got a scorpion over there and some bandits over here. I'm pretty sure I could lure. If you click on the task, it'll show you information about it. So it's, it says that we need a pot of flour from an imp, and then we need any water item. So we need to find imps. So, at least imps are pretty weak, so we should be able to handle them with ease. It's just finding the said imp and getting that dealt with. You know, it's weird. The wiki isn't showing any imp spawns where I'm at, so I'm not... I'm not really sure what they're going on about. I'm gonna look around the chunk a little bit more to see if I can't find it, but I'm gonna take one lap, and if I don't see it, then uh, I'm just gonna put this in the backlog, because, like, I don't know, I, I trust the wiki pretty well, and it's not saying there's any here. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna take one good lap, and then uh, we'll make our final decision, see if the wiki was lying to me or not. I, th I think they're lying because I'm not seeing any imp. So uh, I, I guess I'm just going to backlog these and keep it going. I, I guess there was no other task besides that in the chunk. So I guess uh, we'll go ahead and roll a new chunk. Not the most exciting start, but it is a start. Hopefully we'll get ourselves a grind pretty soon. Let's go ahead and pick a chunk. See where, where we are heading off to next. The... Savannah North. Okay, so that is directly east. All right, and the skill task is saying pickpocket a master farmer, which uh, you need 38 thieving for. Go ahead and go over to our chunk and see what we got over here. So we got some more oak trees. We got more snakes over here, which is awesome. But we now have access to food. We got this master farmer. We got citizens, which if we pickpocket the citizen, do we have... Yes, okay. So these citizens are going to be my new home until I get level 37 farming, I mean 37 thieving, 
And what's good is uh, I can just pickpocket them and come over here and pick up some food and keep the grind going. They're right, they're right where my food is, so that's that's pretty good. So I guess uh, I guess we just start pickpocketing. A level two farming. Would you look at that? <laughs> I said level two farming. Level two thieving. First level of the account, and we are just we are just making our way, aren't we? Level three. Oh look, we're gaming level four. Level four. Level five. All right, our success chance is going up a little bit. We're we're getting a little faster, aren't we? Oh, there's the imp. The imp was in this chunk, not the other chunk. I, what? Okay. Well, we'll take that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and kill this imp. Don't you run away from me, you son of a bitch. Yeah, he didn't want none of that. He got fucking smoked. Black bead first kill. Oh my god. Too bad we are not gonna be able to use that black bead for a long time. I may not even hold it. Oh, level six thieving. There we go. Yeah, if the imp just keeps on coming, then I'm gonna hop off between these citizens and these imps as as they come in. But yeah, since I don't have a bank at the moment, um, I'm not sure if I'll keep this black bead. I might want the inventory space more. Level seven. Level eight thieving. Let's fucking go. Level nine thieving. Oh, there is the big level ten. Um. So these are farmers over here. I can actually pickpocket them at level 10, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. So you can get coins from them and potato seeds. So it's not like you're getting any seeds and you have an extremely lower chance to actually pickpocket them. So, um, well, not extremely lower, but you have a lower chance to pickpocket them. So I think I'm going to keep up with these citizens for now because... Obviously, it's going to be better XP because the farmers only give 10 XP compared to the citizens 8. So if I'm, you know, getting more successful pickpockets on these citizens, it's going to be worthwhile to pickpocket them. Because the onion seeds ain't going to be really a big deal because I'm going to be able to pickpocket this master farmer whenever I need seeds. And that's going to that's gonna get me a lot better seeds than just onions. And if I really need onion seeds, then I can just pick these onions right here. I already got two seeds from that from just picking up onions to eat. So level 11. And there we go. Level 12 thieving right there. Level 13 thieving would you look at that oh there is attack level number two that imp disappeared i do not know where it went oh wait no it did not disappear it died oh i had them i had the items hit okay that makes sense well we got a hammer from that so that is a uh, pretty cool fiendish ash we can go ahead and spread that for some juicy prayer xp so i thought i recorded it but i guess i didn't but i did end up getting the blue wizard's hat which will lead right into the next clip All right so we obtained our blue wizard hat for the best in task slot so that is still pretty good oh and added that we have to bake pita bread now okay so making bread is uh, now not a chunk list instead it's getting 58 cooking to make this pita bread and uh i believe there is a chicken right here oh you can get some sweet corn too but yeah we have an oven now so we can make the pita bread so we're gonna need to get level 58 instead and we do have this one chicken spawn right here that will give us a guaranteed chicken every time that we kill it Plus, we get some feathers, too, I believe. So, feathers, bones, raw chicken, and we can also pick up the sweet corn that we can cook at level 28, I believe. So, once we get to level 28, the uh, cooking will be a lot easier because we'll have all the sweet corn that we can just pick up instead of killing this chicken. What I think I'm going to do is actually multitask. So, whenever I am running low on hit points, I'm going to go kill some chickens and then cook the chickens to get some XP and then use those chickens while I thieve these citizens and then just repeat the process pretty much. There was a level 14 thieving. Oh, we got level 3 attack, level 4 combat, oh my god. Oh, level 2, oh my god. Oh my god, we're streaking, level 3, oh my god. There is a level 15 thieving, would you look at that? But yeah, these chickens give 3 hit points per chicken, so that is uh, pretty nice. I'm not gonna have to spam eat as much as I would with the onions or the cabbages. Level 16 thieving. Level 17. Level 21 thieving. 22 thieving. Level 6 strength. 7 strength. Level 10 cooking. Level Michael Jordan thieving. 
level 5 prayer, level 9 strength, and there was level 11 cooking. Oh, we got the white bead. Would you look at that? So we just need, what, the yellow bead, and then we have all four beads. Not like we're ever going to use them. 25, thieving. So I think I can uh, stall the citizen by talking to it on my main so that it doesn't run around. Make it a little bit, a little bit easier for me. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Just make it a little bit easier, you know? Oh, apparently it doesn't work. If I get her in that fern, though, seems like I can't just talk stall them wherever they are. So that is unfortunate. 1t6 thieving. Level 6 prayer. Level 12 cooking. Level 11 strength. Level 27 thieving. 12 strength. Oh, 13 hit points. Level 13 cooking. 28 thieving. Level 13 strength. Level 14 cooking. Oh. Level 29, Thieving. So look at that. Total level 100. Oh my god. I think I'm going to keep training strength until level 17. I believe that is when I get a max hit of 3, which is enough to one hit a chicken. And then I'm going to build up my attack to probably level 10 and then continue to work on strength if, uh, if I still need to kill these chickens. Because at some point I'm going to be able to pick the sweet corn and cook it instead of... Uh, chicken so once i hit i believe it's level 28 then uh cooking's gonna go by a lot faster 15 cooking 16 cooking level 6 attack level 14 hit points 9 prayer level 7 attack 17 cooking 31 thieving 32 thieving level 8 attack level 9 attack level 18 cooking level 33 thieving oh there's level 10 attack and level 10 prayer level 19 cooking 34 thieving, 11 attack, 20 cooking, level 35 thieving, level 15 strength, and level 15 hit points, 21 cooking. This is the first quiz master random event. Uh, there are a couple of things that we can get in here that would be very, very beneficial. If you get the mystery box, you, I mean, you have a small chance to get the stale baguette, which is not what I'm looking for, but mithril scimitar would be my best in slot weapon been probably for a while but yeah pretty much the mithril scimitar would be what i'm looking for oh no way we got the mithril scimitar on the first mystery box oh my god i don't even have the attack level for it i need level 20 that is freaking insane okay we're not training strength anymore we're going straight on attack i am actually so excited <laughs> to have this mithril scimitar oh my god that is freaking insane but yeah it gives us 20 melee strength and then it gives us plus 21 on our slash attack bonus like that is just going to be huge uh to the available stuff that i'm going to have in surrounding chunks i believe i believe i can only like get like steel stuff in surrounding chunks so that's going to be awesome 36 thieving oh level 11 prayer level 12 attack level 13 attack and there is level 37 thieving level 12 prayer 22 cooking and there we go, level 38 thieving. We can now pickpocket this master farmer and cross that off our chunk task list. So uh, let's not talk to him. Let's uh, go ahead and pickpocket him. Did we get the first pickpocket? Easy money, Belladonna seed. And that is a task crossed off the list. The only thing I have left to do is to get that 58 cooking and to get the auto flower from the imp. We can just kill a bunch of chicken now. We don't have to worry about thieving. So this should go by pretty fast. But yeah, we ended up getting almost 17,000 GP from thieving. So that's going to be good starter money once we have a place to spend that money. 14 attack, 16 hit points, 23 cooking. 15 attack, 13 prayer, level 24 cooking, level 17 attack, level 17 hit points, level 25 cooking, level 18 attack, level 14 prayer, and there is the yellow bead, so we have all four beads, which will be of no use for me, but that is uh, cool to have, and 49 kill count, 26 cooking, level 19 attack, level 15 prayer, 27 cooking. Oh my god, there is a level 20 attack off chickens and imps. I can now wield this mithril scimitar. Oh my god, I'm gonna be one-hitting these chickens like no one's business. Okay, never mind. Maybe not one-hitting them, but definitely killing them faster. 16 strength, 18 hit points, 17 strength. 
and there is a level 28 cooking. I don't have to kill any more chickens. They have had enough. 462 to be exact. I can now spend the rest of my cooking time just picking up this corn. Don't have to wait for any respawns. We just pick up the corn and call it good right there but yeah you can cook them and you get 104 xp per sweet corn yeah this should be pretty good xp and 58 should come by pretty fast 29 cooking 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48, 49. All right, just got done with my first dunce. I'm actually not sure what I should use this XP book on. I think for now, I'm just gonna do agility because I don't have any other way to do agility. Having more agility levels is gonna be useful because uh, I am gonna be walking a lot, it seems like. Level 50 cooking. 51, 52, 53. Oh, that's our pot of flour. All right, so we don't have to kill any more imps. We just have to get the 58 cooking now, and then we're golden. Yeah, that was 66 imps, and the drop rate is a 1 in 64, so we're like pretty much right on rate for that, so that's awesome. So now uh, we can just speed through the rest of this cooking. It shouldn't take but another hour or two, I think. Just like five more levels, and then we can finish this chunk off and roll a new one. 54 cooking, 55 cooking, 56 cooking. First maze random event. Kind of excited. You could get some rune. Oh, we got some nature runes and some mithril ore. I did end up doing a couple chests and got some bronze arrows, which I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to equip them and then drop these bronze bolts because I don't think I'm going to get a crossbow for a long time. And then I'm going to hold on to these runes and the mithril. So that's going to be less inventory space for me. I'm really hoping for a grave digger event soon because that is the only way I'm going to be able to bank for quite a while. Yeah, nature runes is uh, is actually pretty big. So I might have to sacrifice and just drop all these, uh, these beads. I want to keep them for collection sakes, but if I don't have a bank to put them in, then it's just kind of like a waste of inventory space at the end of the day. 57 cooking! All right, and this should be the last of the sweet corn that I have to cook in order to get to level 58. And then we can go ahead and make that pita bread and uh, finish off this chunk. There we go. There is a level 58. We can now make pita bread. We're going to kill that rat for celebration. I need to go grab a bucket of water, which I believe there is a spawn over in the Hunter's Guild. And we can make that pita bread and uh, yeah, move on to the next chunk. All right. And there is the bucket of water. So I believe I've never made pita bread before, but we probably just use the pot of flour on there. Make sure we're making the right one. Pita dough. And there we go. We got the pita dough. And now I believe we just go back to the range and we can cook this into some pita bread i do not think we can burn pita bread all right use pita dough right there and we now have pita bread that is the chunk task complete and uh, we killed the rat and got level 18 strength and celebration get that there we go task complete and the chunk complete let's go roll a new chunk i guess we got like eight chunks that we can roll uh there are two chunks that are concerning to me um which is going to be number one this has a farming patch in it which is going to make me uh grow a grimy torso so um that's uh that's going to be a lot of farming off i believe an allotment patch and a herb patch so that is kind of concerning and then also number seven is hill giants so i would have to get a long bone and a curved bone so those are kind of the concerning chunks uh with uh, kind of big grinds ahead of them um, the one chunk that I want the most would be number eight because this is the only chunk available that I can roll that would give me a bank. That is the one chunk I really want. All the other chunks um, are really of no concern to me. Yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and roll this new chunk and see where we end up. Oh. 
Okay, the Black Jaguar Peninsula. Wow, we have not moved north or south. We're just moving east and west. Okay, so it looks like we need to get five attack to wield the steel weapon, which we have the five attack and we have a mithril scimitar. Um, I'll still go ahead and wield the steel weapon, but I'm going to go ahead and check that off um, because they are not accounting for me getting a mithril scimitar so that technically is not my best in slot and then i need to cast wind strike so i can get um an air rune and a mine rune from the bandits over in that chunk at a 1 in 25.6 drop rate and a 1 in 1 in 28 drop rate and also it says that i can dig up an uncut emerald from for Rue Merald, which uh, I don't really know what that's for, but um, we'll go ahead and do that. It says I need to dig it up, so uh, there is a spade spawn in my chunk, actually, where I was cooking the corn and everything, so I can go ahead and pick up that spade and call it good. But that is where I am going to end off the first episode of this extreme one chunk Iron Man progression series. Ending off the episode with 20 attack, 18 strength, 18 hit points, 14 prayer, 38 thieving, and 58 cooking with a total level of 183. And best of all, we did obtain the Mithril Scimitar from the Mystery Box in this episode. In the next episode, we will tackle on them bandits in order to cast Wind Strike and obtain the Steel Scimitar. And who knows what I might be getting myself into afterwards. But my name is Foley, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. I really do hope you like the new series. Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying it. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I put out more content in the future. I recently just hit 1,000 subscribers, so I want to make a new stretch goal of hitting 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm not sure if it's possible, but one can always strive for such a goal. And a huge shout out to my channel members at the Teaspoon tier. We have Blake North, Buns Gaming, Unlucky Soup, and our newest channel member, Hammy. At the Tablespoon tier, we have Ultimate Gaming and Dakota Adkin. And at the Big Spoon tier, we have Kripsu Juku. I appreciate each and every one of you very much. My name is Foley, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.